Hey guys, this is Matt with Book Driver. So we've been talking a bit about using unmanned flea market booths. Now, every time I've been pitching this to people and I say flea market, what they automatically assume is having to lug all these books, having to be there in the hot sun for 12 hours to make this work. That is not what I'm talking about. There are hundreds, probably thousands of opportunities um, to actually have a booth like this, which is unmanned. There's no one here. So as you see, Don, as usual, does an excellent job of merchandising this. So if I was going to buy this player piano, for example, I would open it up to see the price. So it's $350, but notice that code. So let's say I brought this up to the front desk. They're charging basically a 10% commission to process that order. Plus, of course, the um, cost to rent this booth, which is roughly, I think it's in the neighborhood of $200. So this is what I'm talking about. So if you look at this selection in you've been selling on Amazon, you're going to realize something. That these are just not things that you would sell on Amazon generally. You might do these as eBay um, listings. So, Don did give me some revenue numbers. I'm realizing, though, he's got other non-book items, which is a crucial way. Our idea is to make this a little more no-frills. Not so much of the artwork, but to instead cut the prices. For example, this copy of Dark Matter by Blake Crouch, he has it $6.50. I wouldn't do it for more than four, and I don't think we would either. But we are going to be testing that out. So what we're thinking is kind of the two, three, four, two dollars for the mass paperbacks. He actually doesn't even have that many in mass paperbacks, which I think is a mistake. But yeah, doing these for three at the most. Let's see what he's got them at. He's got them at four. I believe that's a little too high. So, but it's a typical supply and demand. We're gonna be testing out different price points. Um, probably online, actually, just to see what the ideal um, uh, price point would be but it is a really beautiful booth well organized um, so again I'll have to explore more with him what portion of these are uh, the sales are actually non book items I suspect that some of it are so we'll have to look at that so but that's um, where we're going with these thanks